everyone welcome back to my youtube channel or if you're new here welcome i go by your princess or my name is Jaden. today we're going to be rating your guys's plays and then the top plays will make it into a cool montage at the end i had people uh come into my discord at discord.gg slash your princess and i went through all their plays rated them and this is what happened We're starting off these top 10 plays with Paul Chung on Urgot, immediately eing Nidalee to force the Zonias, only buying a little time before they get pulled in with the Fear Beyond Death, fearing both Pantheon and Ari there, continuing to do damage, just life-stealing with Conqueror, gets a triple kill, kills Zed and Pantheon without any effort whatsoever. The purges continuing to go off. Ari escapes by the skin of their teeth. Dodges Redemption just when you think she's out. Wild Horse out of nowhere. Up next, we've got Int with six Ts on Yone, and you see a lot of Yones here. That's because it's an all for one. Let's see Int dive on in, destroy the one Nidalee there without any effort whatsoever. Gonna flash Q Force, another flash, get another knockup, and there's just slicing and dicing all around. I can't tell who's doing the damage here, but Int is continuing to establish their dominance just cutting cutting knocking up executing this is so easy to them is able to get a triple kill on these Nidalees they are making them look so noobish it feels like it's a challenger player versus a bronze player and is able to get hopefully the penta and there it is at number eight we've got ego desire steadily making their way to the mid lane it doesn't look like they're ready for this assault dives on in throws the smoke cloud down and before you even realize what happens there's the quadra kill at number seven we've got sexy twink on evelyn there's a lot of action going down dragon side initiates on the orn is able to get orn down to about 30 percent health before flashing in stealing the dragon like no one even realized what was going on takes out follow bear hides at the bush there to just recover some HP, get back in the stealth and see if they can make another kill here. Makes quick work of Zed and is able to clean up with the help of their team. At number six, we've got Alchemist on Riven, pops the R. They make quick work of Riven, forcing them out of the fight initially, but Alchemist says, no, I'm getting up in there, throwing that R and diving on everybody for the quick and easy Penta kill. At number five, we've got Soashi Kamara on Fiora, and I don't even think I can cast this. I just want everyone to hear his wonderful singing ability. For this number four clip, we've got some vein action coming at you. Talon's looking for a fight, but he realizes, oh no, I shouldn't be here. Meanwhile, Hecarim's trying to get a taste, and Vayne is able to dodge almost every skill shot of his throne. Two tapping Nami, slapping up Hecarim against the wall. Everybody dies. This is awful for the red team as Vayne picks up a triple kill. Number three, we've got Lux Crown Guard on Lux. Now some team actions going on in the mid lane. Red team is incredibly low. They think they've got the fight one, so they divert to try and make a play for the dragon. Meanwhile, Lux out of nowhere. At number two, we've got Luxian 3-3-3 on Vel'Koz. Now Vel'Koz is a squishy champion. It's easy to lock him down so that he can't do anything, but immediately gets hooked by Thresh. They collapse on him, forcing him to pop the Zonias. How's he gonna get out of this one? He ease, he gets everybody in the life form disintegration ray, gets a quick triple. The geometry gets him the quadra, and are they able to dive the tower and get the quadra? No, Camille jumps right in, gets hit with the Q, hit with the E for the Penta kill. The number one clip is brought to you by Butt Summoner on Ezreal, but it's for a reason that you might not expect. Here we are on the Howling Abyss. Red team and blue team is sieging back and forth, poking each other down, getting their HP down little by little. It's 10 minutes into the game, but what's gonna happen is something that I have never seen in the history of League of Legends, and I'm sure it will surprise you too. Blue team is slowly making their way towards that first tower. They're getting red team very, very low. A big play could happen at any time here. With enough patience by the red team, Vi goes in, forces Urgot to flash, just dives into the back line, dives. But at the same time, the teleport absolute zero from Nunu and Rise gives Nunu that young Penta kill. Stop. Dude, I wasn't ready. Okay, GG, I don't care. I go next. Please don't be shit at Lee. You think I play Lee's it? Look at me. 
Do I play? Do I look like a play Leeson? Do I look like a Leeson? Do I look like a Leeson player? No. 